It's the secret book. And that's how spirit book Carmen. There she is, right behind you the whole damn time, right? In the shadows, just wait. So darn complex. I'm done with work. Can we meet up? I'll see you in court. So there's a lot of things that she's hiding and or, again, keeping secret when it comes to him. Rick Games. How does Jay-Z currently feel about Beyonce? Okay. Hey, y'all. Hey. <clears throat> Let's get into this intuitive reading. This intuitive message for Steve Harvey. This reading is alleged. And for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the TV is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging right off the back with a one-horse town that there's monotony, boredom, small-mindedness, branch out, and move-on novelty is needed. Okay, Spirit is acknowledging that he should have... <sighs> overcame this obstacle a long time ago but he chose to stay on this side of the grass because he thought the grass was greener fulfilling his heart chakra um but in seeking fulfillment he does still have blockages and or delays in his heart chakra keeping him away from his passion his purpose his resilience and his strength and this was all to add a layer to the cake this was all to have a sense of accomplishment triumph self-esteem confidence talent accolades and fame in the middle of the deck this has everything to do with sweet as a georgia peach I don't know the connection to Georgia, but I do energetically feel like this is a swirl of communication, a lot of sexual, sacral energy, very emotional. Um, this has to do with kindness, tender care, charm, beauty, flirtation, and a <clears throat> delicious experience. Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck. Spirit said, bless your heart. Big heart, heart full of passion. I don't know why um, the energy of Kings of Comedy is coming up that, 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 that special that he was in but this might be or spirit is acknowledging this is a pivotal point this is when things turned left this is when spirit is acknowledging bless your heart could you really be that silly could you really be that stupid could you really be that dumb but his heart was filled with passion friendship passion for friendship passion for business passion for romance um in that friendship appreciation devotion worthiness caring playful teasing mm-hmm Steve Harvey current energy. Spirit is acknowledging that there's an energy of him having some sense of idolization, fantasy, and bound. And he's bound by the magic, the practice, the power, the spell work, the belief, the rituals with voodoo. He's also acknowledging that with come with this magic, um, this form of uh a voodoo there's an energy of a fear of not being accepted closeted and secretive with androgyny in reverse spirit is also acknowledging around the month of december he is going to be emotionally emotionally unavailable flaky and non-committal because of this energy what is the energy around steve harvey and the industry in connection to sean combs there's an energy of clarity. Thank you, spirit. Honesty, survival, wisdom, self-discovery, survival. Energy of... This is the family, the values. There's a ceremony, a belief system, a group. There's also this energy of regrets. Sleepless nights. I want you back. Sadness. Acknowledging that when it comes to the industry and Sean Combs, there's an energy that time heals all wounds. He's trusting the, in uh, the synchronicities and trying to heal. Um, but this is a lot. There's a lot of unknowns. It's scatterbrained. Right when he thinks he's got his footing, his bearings, things get crazy. It becomes juggling and scatterbrained. Spirit is acknowledging that this creates some rocky times for him. Turbulence. He's reluctant. He's trying to focus on his priorities. But again, around the month of December, there's an energy of being emotionally unavailable, flaky and noncommittal with a apology of some sort. Offering of love to someone. Asking them to accept his behavior would you accept this please his offer it's a romantic gesture 
of a higher commitment. Can we continue even though I got some things going on? I got some issues. Um, I'm, in, I'm emotionally unavailable and flaky and non-committal, but can you forgive me for that? Um, this is coming with a call. There's some kind of call. There's some kind of form of communication. The phone is ringing. There's an offer. Yeah, you think this person is calling you to offer you love, but the person that's calling you, thank you, Spirit, is acknowledging that there's going to be distance even more. Creating someone to feel very mean, unemotional, rude with a lack of empathy because they felt controlled and influenced by you, Mr. Harvey. And again, this has everything to do energetically um, with, with the industry and Sean Combs. Again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. <sighs> a lack of empathy because you were controlling, influenced, devious, a trick, a trickster. <laughs> Not turning tricks. Okay. Exploitative and a fool. And this is layered energy. It's not just what you're doing to someone else. It is what has been done to you. And hurt people hurt people. Spirit is acknowledging. I've unequal give and take, lazy, mooching, disrespect, blame game. Again, this is how he feels in connection to the industry and Sean Combs. Let's dive a little deeper. Steve Harvey and Sean Combs. Manipulation, control, influence, devious, exploitative, fool. It's a sweet and sticky situation. Caring, kind, compassionate, loving, physical touch. Proud trophy wife. Showing you off with accomplishments and status. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Mm. Steve Harvey, current energy. Thank you. He's trusting his feelings. He's fulfilling his heart's desire. The moon card is there. What you do in the dark comes to the light. Whatever you're trying to suppress is coming to the surface. Could involve a water sign or could just be emotional. Around the energy of manifestation, manipulation, and or a pregnancy. Spirit is acknowledging that danger lurks. It's best to retreat. He's trying to bring things to the surface. But Spirit said danger is lurking. I see water sign again. Could be emotional and or could be a water sign. Spirit said no. Not ready to get started. Not ready to get started. Don't do it. Don't do it. The plans aren't fully formed. You're not ready. Don't do it. Steve Harvey, current energy. He's haunted by memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects from being an idol, loved, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. What does she have to do with this spirit? Okay. Okay. Creating a girl fight. Creating arguments. Physical fight. At war. What's the tea with Steve Harvey in the industry? Tripping on you with these mushrooms. Uh-oh. The industry is really into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. Positive. Boot up. But... They see you. They see what you've been trying to do. How you've been trying to move. How you've been trying to have like little accounts here and there. Guess what? They got them too. <sighs> they moving. Just as fast as you are. To spy. Again, this reading is completely alleged. Steve Harvey, current energy. Mountain in reverse. Six is significant. There is an obstacle in your inquiry. This is not the time to move forward. Second time we've heard that. Wait a while. Be patient. And a way around the mountain will be revealed. Pushing forward isn't in your highest good. Don't try to climb too high to gas the price. The price to grasp the prize. I'm trying to say prize, and Spirit said the price. What are you trying to? Mm hmm. Okay. You trying to say how much do you want? Uh, Spirit said, "Don't do that. That seems out of reach because it is for now. If you exceed your limits, you'll find yourself tumbling down and you'll get hurt. 
remain open to a new possibility rather than stubbornly forging ahead. Mr. Harvey, is that your name? All right, Steve Harvey, current energy. He's got some great ideas around this mountain. He's trying to move forward in the area of passion, also in the area of romance for business or romance. He feels very inspired. He's like trying to create something. He's also trying to pay attention to his money. He's trying to make sure that the bag and the money and all this hard work is still there. He's trying to focus on uh, longevity, inheritance, making sure that his children's children's children you know, have something. He's trying to look toward the future. He's trying to focus on self-sufficiency, okay? In the middle of the deck, he is, again, trying to forge this path in the area of business and also in the area of passion. Passion will be a chaotic. He's acknowledging that he has vision and he's an entrepreneur and he's trying to have foresight in this, in this moment. What is his biggest obstacle? Okay... What is Steve Harvey's biggest obstacle? I read biggest obstacle in reverse. Conflict avoidance is an obstacle. Increased focus on goals is an obstacle. He's saying he's trying to focus like, oh my gosh. All right. Another obstacle is um, on the edge is an obstacle. Feeling um, hesitant, paranoia, throwing water on a flame, fire sign energy in the area of passion, also in the area of business. Um, there's also this, and that's with the seven of wands in reverse. There's also this energy of something not being completed, not having success, not reaching your goal is an obstacle. The world card in reverse. There goes that moon card again with the moon card in reverse. There's an energy of releasing fear. There's an energy of unhappiness, all obstacles. There's an energy of confusion, all obstacles, not wanting something to come to the surface. What's the energy of, um... Sean Combs and Steve Harvey. Thank you. Overly emotional, malicious, and cold hearted. How does Steve Harvey feel about Sean Combs? Authoritative, domineering, controlling with the King of Pentacles, with the Sun card in reverse, temporary depression. Temporary depression, a lack of success in the middle of the deck. Mental challenges breaking free with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, what's going on with Steve Harvey and his wife? Bad luck, negative external forces, feeling out of control with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. He does have some ideas. He's trying to get in control and be powerful and, and create some opportunity have some potential with the ace of wands in the middle of the deck with the two of wands so there is a fear of the unknown there's a lack of planning lack of foresight he's like i'm not sure throwing water on the flame what's going on with steve harvey and what's coming up next what's coming up next for steve Manifesting new financial opportunity, prosperity, wealth coming his way. And then Spirit is also acknowledging that he has some boundaries up. Subconsciously, though, that's on the surface, clearly, because subconsciously Spirit is acknowledging there's an imbalance in work and family commitments. And so something's got to give. Here's going to be a breakdown in communication, a breakdown in finances. Someone feels like they're losing something. Um, there's also boundaries being trampled upon. In the middle of the deck, he's becoming weak. With the, with the Magician card... There's an energy of manipulation, poor planning, late efforts are dwindling. He just doesn't feel like he's an alchemist. He feels manipulated. He feels played with. He feels like there's a lack of energy. There's a lack of energy moving forward. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.